Hi and welcome to part 6 of this Django and Vue tutorial series. In this part we're going to add lessons to the courses. We can begin by setting up the database model for the lessons. So if you find models.py inside the course app and then below the class for the courses we say class lessons models.model Here I want to make it possible to select between draft and published so we need to add two choices here. Draft equals draft and then published equals published. And then we need to create a tuple with these choices. Choices underscore status and then a tuple with the tuple inside. Here we add the constant and say draft which will be the label in forms and published and published and I also want to make choices for the lesson type if it's a article or a quiz or a video so we can begin with article equals article and quiz equals quiz and then below here we create a new tuple choices lesson type equals we can begin with the article, article, and quiz, and then the label. And then in here I need a reference to the course, so I need to add a foreign key. We can begin with that, course equals models.foreign key. Here I want to pass in course and set the related name to lessons so it's easy to get all the lessons for a specific course and if you delete the course you also want to delete all of the lessons so here is a models dot cascade and then I want the title and slug which I can copy from up here I can also copy the long and short description so copy these four fields and paste them below the course there and then I need a char field for the status status equals models dot char field get the max length to 20 and then choices equals choices status and the default one can be published so default equals published and then one similar for the lesson type. Lesson type equals models dot char field. Max length 20. And the choices we have is now choices uh, lesson type. And default can be article. So now we can save this and update the database by going to the terminal stop the web server as a python managed by make migrations so now you see here that we want to create a new model called lessons and then we want to run this script by saying python managed by migrate great so now we have the lesson database model and we can set the first task to done next we want to show all of the lessons or links to the lessons in a course and to do that we first need to create a lesson list serializer so we can get the list of the serializers so if we go up and find the serializer.py file and then at the first we can import a lesson here which is the model we just created and then at the bottom here create a new class and call it lesson list serializer oops serializer now we can pass in serializer.model serializer and then we need to add a class meta for configuration and set the model to be lesson and the fields we want here is id the title the slug and the short description and also the long description like that so now we just need to change the view for the course a little bit. So we can go to views.py. And I want to include this data in this view. 
First we can import the lesson model here and also the lesson list serializer. And then inside the get course we can re rename this to course serializer and then lesson serializer equals lesson serializer and we want to get all of the lessons connected to this course by saying course which refers to this variable dot lessons dot all and we want to set many equals true because there's more than one object here and then instead of saying serializer dot data down here we want to create a new dictionary data and one field for the course course serializer dot data and lesson lesson serializer dot data and then in here we just say data and save so now the course is available and also all of the lessons I should actually call this lessons since there's usually more than one lesson per course and before I continue to the front end I just want to make it possible to add a few courses a uh, few lessons in the back end so you need to go into admin.py again and import lesson and register it here like that then we can go to the browser again okay need to run the server cannot import name lesson okay i call this lesson it was about to be lesson not lessons so we need to update the database again i rename this yes and migrate run the server go back refresh then i can log in Great, so now we have the lessons here, so we can create a few. I want to add it to the programming course. Lesson 1, lesson 1, short description and long description. And it's published and type article. We can add one more. Lesson 2. Like that. So then we have a few lessons for the course. And then we need to change the front end a little bit. So if we go back here and find course.view, then down here in the data array, we just want to change this to an object. And below here, we can say lessons and set this to be a list. And instead of saying this.course equals response to data, we now need to change this to dot course. Now we can save this and see if it's work. So if we go into this one, restricted access, I need to be logged in. Yes, so now I still get the long description for the course. This is the parts of the courses or the lessons. So I need to replace this hard coded here with lessons we get from the back end. So we can now go back to course.view again. And then here, we can remove four of these, then just fix the indentation like that. And here I want to loop through these lessons. And to do that, we say v-4 lesson in lessons. And you see I get an error here, and that's because this is supposed to have a v-bind key directive. v-bind colon key lesson.id so now this is unique for view perfect and instead of saying introduction here i want to say lesson.title great so if i save now go back this will be empty because it haven't pulled the lessons yet and we can do that by saying this.lessons equals response.data.lessons because we got them in the back end now now we see lesson 1 and lesson 2 there. Nice. Now that we get that information, we can go to the to-do list and set this task to done. And then it starts to make it possible to click on a lesson and see the detail page. So we need to go back to course.view again. And here I want to add one more variable. Active lesson. This can be null. 
And then when you click one of the lessons in this list, I want to set that variable. So remove the href tag and say at click. So when we click this, we want to call this. And here we can just say active lesson equals lesson. So we set it to the one we are in in this iteration. And then to show the active lesson, I can scroll down and find here where we show the long description. Then we can create a new template tag, v if active lesson. So if this is set, we can show that instead of the course description. So here we now say active lesson dot long description. Close that. And then here template v else and save. So if I now go back, refresh, you'll see that now we see the long description. And if I click this, you'll see the long description for this. Great. And then we just want to show the title as well for the lessons above here. So to do that, we can say h2 and say active lesson dot title. Then if I close the h2, save. And we now see the lesson one there. Perfect. So then we can go to the to-do list again and set this task to done. And that was it for this part. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please click like below. See you in the next video.